You don't understand. How are you? I'm, I'm very well, thank you. We just had the allocation draw and it went really well. And the host insignia, so we have kick-started Eurovision Song Contest in Tel Aviv. It's a little more than 100 days to go. And then we have the, the great shows here in Tel Aviv. This is my ninth Eurovision Song Contest in wow. this position. But I've been working with Eurovision Song Contest for many years before that. I also produced the show in Oslo in 2010. Uh, and I've been head of delegation and I was here in 99 when Jerusalem hosted Eurovision Song Contest uh, back then and that was also a great experience. That was your first time in Israel in uh, 1999? Yeah, that was my first time in Israel. Uh, but over the last year, uh, year, I've been here many times because I'm working closely with Khan and they're a fantastic team. They have a oh, great team you. here, yeah, really. And, uh, and to, to make sure that they establish um, yeah, man, all, all, and do all the right decisions to establish a really good song contest. When Netta won in Lisbon, I started to work with uh, the Israeli delegation instantly. I mean, we don't have a minute to lose, you only have one short year to prepare. And short year? Yeah, it's a short year because uh, you, when you win, you, you start to prepare and, uh, and then you, you have to deliver in, in, yeah, let's say a year. Um, and, and that's not much time for a big event like this. What would you say is the, uh, is the greatest challenge of producing this huge event like Eurovision? Uh, there's so many stakeholders, there's so many different countries involved in this. Uh, there's so much prestige, there's so many opinions about the show. Really? There's a lot of people who cares about the Eurovision Song Contest yeah. and would like to contribute. So for that reason it's complicated because we got all these requests and people who love it. And we have to make sure that people who love it get a really good result back. And, and, and that's what I'm working with this all year around. And, and it's a great pleasure to do that. Last Friday, the EBU and Kayan revealed this year's hosts. Uh, do you have any tips for hosting such a successful event? I think go out there and have fun and be prepared. I met with, with the three of them. I've not yet met Bar. And they are fantastic persons. I mean, they, they really are a great, great energy, great spirit. They are professionals to the core. And I'm sure that on that stage, it will be for wonderful hosts. What is your favorite spot or place in Israel? I, there are so many spots I can't really decide, so, like so for the time being I'm enjoying all of it. Yeah. Uh, I've been traveling a lot, I've been to Jerusalem, I, I loved it. I mean, I've been there in 99, I came back now, we had a grand tour of the city, it's a fantastic city. Tel Aviv, so vibrant, so many cool places, good restaurants, um, fantastic sight and the beach. Uh, so, so, and I hope to be able uh, to travel more around. By the way, I was at the Dead Sea. Uh, the when? last time I was here. Wow. Uh, as a, did you on, on a did tour. You... Uh, I didn't float, but no. uh, maybe I have the chance. Uh, <laughs> you should. Yeah, maybe I should. And put yeah. mud on your face. Yeah, I'll, I'll do the whole shabbat. Yeah. Yeah. No, but, but it's a great uh, country that has a lot to offer. And we have a special Facebook group of uh, many Eurovision friends. Do you have something to say to them? We love our fans. We are fans of the fans, and we are so happy that you are joining us on this ride towards Tel Aviv. You're always with us. You're always supporting us and we're very happy for that so to all your fans out there i would like to say stay on believe in what we do believe in your business and contest and here comes i love him a great guy he chose me <laughs> that's why i will love him forever